What's good YouTube, Janine checking back in for another video today. I am so excited to announce that I'm going to be doing a little mini series documenting the somewhere around last month of my lean bulk. Uh, I'm probably going to be start cutting somewhere around January, you know, after the holidays where I'm probably going to be gaining a little bit of body fat. So starting around somewhere in January, I want to do a little bit of a mini cut, you know, to shed down some of the fat, get a little bit shredded, get aesthetic as fuck, if you know what I'm saying. So I decided to bring you guys through uh, the last stage of my lean bowl, training wise, eating wise, supplement wise, etc. So let's start the series guys. So for my breakfast, I like to have a really big breakfast containing a lot of carbs uh, because most of the time my breakfast is my pre-workout meal. All right, so here's what I'm working with. I have my breakfast bowl of gains right here. If you want to see the recipe, I'll link it somewhere around the screen right here. And a sandwich with Nutella, as you can see, little dot here. And along with that, I'm going to pour me some coffee and drink a lot of water with it, obviously, because I'm going to the gym in probably around one hour up to two hours so I want to get well enough hydrated so that I can work out you know comfortably a lot of people make the mistake to not drink enough water before they go work out and what, what ends up happening is they have a really crappy workout because their muscles are not hydrated enough so I like to make sure to drink at least one liter up to two liters of water before I go to the gym and along with that I'm gonna take my supplements which are two capsules of omega-3 fish oil a multivitamin with some added vitamin D and a vitamin C. The reason I take vitamin C uh, apart from my multivitamin is because I live in the Netherlands and as you can see it's pretty frosty outside so I like to make sure to get enough vitamin C so that my immune system is high enough so that I don't get sick all the time because when you live in the Netherlands you gotta deal with the cold.
is it. Alright guys, that was a really tough leg workout. Uh, as you saw in the clips I did uh, 5 by 7 on squats. Then I proceeded to do uh, 3 sets of stiff legged deadlifts. Three, uh, the first set was 7 reps, the second set was 10 reps. And the third set was, I believe, 10 reps again. Uh, which was really tough, considering, uh, funny story though, <laughs> uh, I had to kickstart my scooter uh, because it was really cold uh, and it has a little bit of a trouble starting right now. So I actually got a really sick pump in my hip flexor, uh, which I felt during today's squat workout. So it was pretty challenging, but got shit done. You gotta do what you gotta do, no freaking excuses. Uh, so, so I'm heading to my girlfriend right now to eat my post-workout dinner. I'll see you guys there. So what I'm having as a post-workout dinner is uh, some leftover Chinese food. I have no idea what to call this. Um, something with vegetables. Yeah, something with vegetables. <laughs> it's really carb dense anyway. So I, oh yeah, it's noodles by the way. Yeah, noodles. Noodles with some chicken mixed in with some fruits, some carrots and whatever. And a little bit of, um, what's this meat called again? That meat pang wang. No, that's, no, that's egg. Okay. Anyways, I have no idea, but I'm gonna guess to make the macros anyway, so... Oh, where's the lighting? <coughs> Whenever I'm eating uh, certain foods like Chinese or takeaway foods that you can't really uh, perfectly track into your macros, uh, I always just guesstimate, you know, I know how much uh, noodles, uh, uh, how much carbs noodles have per, per hundred, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I know how much carbs noodles have uh, per 100 grams, and for the rest I just guesstimate, you know, you can always just uh, search Chinese takeaway on my fitness pal, and most of the uh, entries on my fitness pal are pretty accurate, and just go by feel, you know, you don't have to be point precise, on every single meal, as long as you have a general idea of how much uh, <laughs> of how much protein, carbs, and fats uh, the meal have, you'll be good to go. Mm -hmm. 